Hello there. I am um, doing a YouTube on a memorable experience I had um, down in Hunts Huntsville, Al Alabama, um, and seeing a gentleman named um, Richard Hoover, who, uh, according to what I've read, um, and kind of what I was seeing down, down there at the time, he, he found um, forms of life in uh, meteorites. And I, it's my understanding that one of the meteorites he used was from my father's um, collection. And, um, but it was a very interesting uh, trip. Uh, my mother and I went down to, to the NASA facility at uh, Hunts, Huntsville, Alabama. And we were given um, some amazing tours around. And one of the one of the labs we went into was um, I met um, Richard um, Hoover, who was using an electron microscope to take a look at. Uh, I believe it was one of my father's uh, meteorites. I don't know specifically at the time which one it was. But looking into this um, um, meteorite, it was, it was like we were landing on the moon with this electron microscope. The person I have to um, thank for this um, visit to this uh, special uh, lab down in Huntsville was astronaut Owen Garrett, who was uh, both in a space shuttle flight and also in Skylab. Um, very gracious fellow. And his son um, went on to fly in the Russian uh, space station or was brought up by the Russians to the space station. And um, he made his millions and millions on a, um, doing games, uh, making um, computer games. But getting back um, to um, this visit to NASA, this was the um, lab that um, analyzed all the parts from the Challenger disaster, uh, Flight 800, and here we were uh, with astronaut Owen Garrett and um, myself and uh, Dr. Richard Hoover. And we were um, looking at this meteorite inside an electron uh, microscope. And you could see these tracks of um, very strange looking carbon tracks on top of this, um, this meteorite. And... Um, they zapped them with a an elect, with a laser, and then did a, a, spec, a spectrograph analysis of the light that was emitted from the laser hitting the uh, the actual part of that um, looked like a carbon track. And sure enough, it definitely was carbon, and it was of a very unusual uh, nature. Um, Mr. Hoover um, was saying that the original mariners, I guess it was, that went to Mars, um, the experiments that did work were indicative of life on Mars and that uh, NASA apparently had um, purposely avoided um, sending future probes that would resolve this thing uh, conclusively um, in previous flights. What we do know is that um, those little rovers running around have seen some very interesting things that look a hell of a lot like fossils. The shapes of these things that they've seen uh, could not be uh, replicated by crystal growth. Uh, it had to be some sort of life form um, that we um, that they saw on the um, these little rovers on Mars. The um, interesting thing, like I said, was the fact that I was able to, um, I've never seen an electronic microscope in action, and it was amazing how we went down closer and closer. It was like we were looking out of a window of a lunar lander, drifting to the left, drifting to the right, um, and descending close as we went across this, this uh, track of uh, carbon on, on the rock or on the meteorite. So um, my father was on the right track as he was in many, many issues and many of the things he collected and many of the things that he did 
He, he took the first Concorde flight out of New York. Um, and, uh, matter of fact, he gave me the medallion to that flight, um, which commemorated the first flight out of uh, Kennedy, I guess it was, to, um, to Paris. So, that's um, another interesting person I met. And he's still making news um, with his, with his um, discoveries. Um, and I have to thank my father for um, ultimately getting me this opportunity to um, see history in the um, in the making. Remember, eat your green vegetables. Bye bye.